hello guys today in this video i want to show you how to print these booklets but before i start i would like to tell you why i like to print these beautiful small booklets first of all it saves the <laughs> woods because you use less paper and then secondly it reduces the weight of the book because you're literally printing one two three and four four pages onto one sheet of paper because you're printing double-sided so you reduce the weight and you reduce the area that this book that a normal book will take so and the main reason for me printing these booklets is to save on cost because i'm a university of johannesburg student and i don't want to waste money printing books but i like to work hard copy than to work soft copy so it saves me on cost because if i have to spend 100 rand on printing a booklet i will spend 25 rand because in on one page i'm printing four pages instead of printing one page on one page so it saves me a lot on cost so let me let's get into it let me show you how to print a whole booklet so let's go here so in this case i will show you how to convert this whole booklet into pdf and in this video i will show you how to print a booklet in a okay i will go to file i will go to save s and i will go to save as pdf and i will save it and i will show you how to print in adobe acrobat reader because that's the one we have in all the computers we also have it in our computer lab and it's a very famous uh thing and as you can see adobe acrobat reader it's free of charge open source we can go and download it so what we'll do here because i want to print a whole booklet i will just go there click print once i click print this menu will show up and this menu over there it's written all so i'll click all as it is and then i will go here at the bottom click booklet when i click booklet this menu shows up booklet subset both sides this means you must print both sides if you're not front side only or not back side i want to print both sides and then sheets from so it's showing you that it's seven sheets of paper and then binding yes i want to left binding and orientation portrait if there is any other default setting please change all your settings to this because this options will print a proper portrait booklet like how we want it once you have done all that come here and just check okay there's my first page and then verify if it shows over here your first and the last page then you can just click here on to print and it will print perfectly like a booklet so after it prints like a booklet i need to show you how to staple this booklet it's like like this all you need to staple this booklet it's an eraser and a stapler staple like this so i have one booklet here i only stapled one so let me just show you how to staple it nicely so i will put this thing here let me put my camera down nicely okay and then i'll zoom in a little bit let me move this so what you do is you take an eraser let's say i want to find it here i want to staple it here just put the eraser to open the booklet in half you put the first of all you're gonna find a booklet unfolded so you're gonna fold it like this then it's gonna just make sure you've aligned all your corners correctly and then what you're gonna do is take the eraser put it in the middle or if you want to staple two and then just take put it here and here but i usually want to staple three so one is already stapled i put it in the middle here after i put it in the middle I turn over my booklet so if this place where I want to staple lies on top of the eraser then I take my stapler even a small stapler like this you can do the job so what you do is take the stapler open it up like this put it onto the eraser we want to staple it 
and then just press it nicely what we'll just do is we're going to send the staple through but it's going to get stuck in your razor just look at this you see now you just remove your eraser and now you can close this thing nicely and safely if you are scared you can use your ruler but i don't mind using my fingers because it's not a very thin staple which will poke me so okay this is how you staple it don't want to waste your time and go and show you how to staple the next one i think you've got it the next thing that i want to show you is how to print parts of a book so i have chosen over here uh, okay what we will do is we'll go to my files and now will open a process book for you as you can see i just want to show you before i print that i have printed chapter one of this book i have printed chapter two I have printed chapter three and i have printed chapter four of this book so i'll show you how to do that so let's go here there's the process book and then i'll just open this thing big and wide so i can see everything clearly now what i will take note of is the numbers here these are the important numbers not the numbers on the page of your book you see not this because here it says one and here it says three so i will take note of these numbers this one's here so i will take note of it because i want to print the table of contents which has no pages on it and i want to print chapter one so i will take a pen and a paper and take note that i want to start printing from the table of contents which is page page three basically as you can see here so i'll make a note here i want to print from page three this is chapter one right until i think it ends at page 30 around page 37 so i'll just enter page 37 instead of scrolling down that okay let's go more down and see Yeah, I think if past it is not page 37, must be page 35. Yeah, you see it ends at page 35. So I take note of, so it, the chapter 1 is from page 3 until 35. I just take note of it. Now I just go to print. Go to pages from page 3 dash 35. It just says three two thirty five then you click on booklet once you click on booklet make sure it's both sides left portrait and then sheets it does automatically one to nine and then you check here okay this is my table of contents my first page and let's see this is my reference page which is last so the booklet will come out perfectly and then just send a print job click your printer black and white or whatever color and you just send the print job another thing that i want to show you is that how to print parts of the thing so i've printed this thing here for electrical machines so i want to show you how i've printed the important stuff and left out the unimportant stuff so let's go electrical machines I'll go on blackboard i'll go on the study guide on the study guide, I'll open it big and wide. See everything nicely. Hey, not important for me. I don't want to read all this. Okay, I can read it. This page is important. I would really want to print this page. Why? Because it shows consultation times there and where. And it shows contact details for the lecturers. So I want to print this page. So I'll take note. Okay, this is page 3. This is page 3. Okay. And then what else i think is important here is this this is very very important i think revision and then it tells you where i can find all this i just need to go and study these paragraphs and these things these things are very very important so these things start from as you can see from page six over here so i take note okay it's from page six until until 
until page 8 as you can see here page 8 so I take note from page 6 to 8 I don't care about the rest of the book I don't want to print it so I can just read through it <laughs> but I don't want to see them again so I just click their print and then on the pages I will click I want to print page 3 and then leave out everything else so I put a comma there as you can see there I put a comma and then I want to print make a space there and I want to print from page 6 to page 8 I want to print page 3 skip everything else and print page 6 to 8 now I go to the booklet and then it says sheets 1 of 1 so it says I'm just gonna, just gonna print one sheet both sides left orientation portrait now it's gonna print nicely just click print it's gonna print like this let me show you I've already printed it it's beautiful as you can see here this is I showed you the consultation times and all that the contact details on the next page you see all the scope that I need to study now there's perfect printed four pages one shot beautiful I really love printing out these booklets they save me a lot of money and a lot of time and then they are good green world save trees okay guys hope you, this video helps and enjoy the rest of your time please if you like the video or if it helps you in any way please give it give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos Peace.